Want to make your drone footage look like a this? I'll show you how to add these clean cinematic grid lines. No plugins, no fancy tracking, just After Effects and one smart trick. Let's go. First, create a new composition using the exact same settings as your footage. So this is the video footage we'll be working with. Let's get started. Make sure you know layer is selected. Then choose the pen tool from the toolbar. Now draw your guideline exactly how I'm doing it. This is what my guideline looks like. Now select the shape layer, remove the fill color, and adjust the corner curves like this. That's how we get the clean guideline. To animate it, select the shape layer, then go to the Add button here and choose Trim Paths. Go to the end property inside Trim Paths and create a keyframe. Press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Move forward a few frames and create another keyframe. Then go back to the first keyframe and set its value to zero. Now select both keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve like this. That gives us the basic guideline animation. Now let's make it look more professional. Move close to the last keyframe. Bring back the fill color, same as the stroke color. In the fill settings, add a keyframe to the opacity. Go forward a bit and add another opacity keyframe. Set the value to something between 15 and 30 to make the fill slightly transparent. Go back to the first opacity keyframe and set it to zero. Again, select both opacity keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Now the animation is complete. And of course you can add a text label to your guideline. If you want the text to pop upwards, make it a 3D layer and adjust the X rotation value. I'll be using a text animation I made in another tutorial, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Once you're happy with your animation, select both the guideline and text layers and pre-compose them. Name the pre-comp whatever you like. Now let's move to the most important part, tracking. Select your video layer, go to the animation menu and choose track in Boris FX Mocha. Click on the Mocha logo in the effect controls to open it. You'll now see your video inside Mocha. Select the X-Spline tool, pen icon, and draw a shape around the area where the guideline was drawn. Make sure the shape is a bit larger than the guideline for better tracking. If needed, you can create multiple tracking areas. 
Now click the tool with the S icon to adjust the surface. Make sure the blue surface box fits the full scale of your footage. Finally, from the tracking options, choose this icon and hit track forward. Mocha will now analyze the movement in the area you selected. And that's it, your guideline is now tracked and ready to be composited into the scene. Now, once the tracking is complete, save the project inside Mocha and close it. Back in After Effects, go to the effect controls of your video layer and click Create Track Data. From the drop-down, select Layer 1, then click OK. Next, under Export Options, choose your pre-composed layer, then click Apply Export. And just like that, the tracking data is now applied to your pre-comp, which means your guideline follows the movement of the footage perfectly. And that's it! We've created a clean, professional-looking guideline together, and it was actually pretty easy, just a few smart tricks and some careful steps. If you ever want to make changes to the design or animation, just double-click the pre-comp, make your adjustments, and they'll be automatically updated in the main composition. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.